all my family and celebrate my dad's birthday. Um, today's training was really good. I've had a good week training with Tabo. We were doing some accelerations today, so it was quite hard, but it was a really good session. So today I'm in Edinburgh um, doing my strength and conditioning session in Harriet Watt University. So we're just arriving there. Um, I go to strength and conditioning every Monday and Friday and it just helps with my running and keeping my core strong. So yeah, we're just about there. Here's my mum. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so today I uh, just do some like exercise in the gym. I've started doing weights and stuff, so that'll improve with my running. So yeah. So I'm at the institute now, and it's where a Scottish um, Institute of Sport is based. So, but today it's a bit different. I'm getting my bloods taken, so just to see what I'm lacking in. And yeah, so I'm gonna go and train now. So today I'm at the track and I'm just doing my final session before I'm going down to compete in Bedford. It's nice conditions, quite, it's quite windy but it's alright. Um, the track is quiet as per usual. That can be like good because you get the track to yourself but um, in like training it I get like no one to push me so it can be kind of hard doing that. But yeah, I've got one, 150s and 120s and then that should be a good one. So that's me done my first run. I'm tired but I, I felt really good in my run so hopefully that gives me an indication that I should be running alright for a competition down the weekend. <laughs> I'm really tired but yeah I'm feeling good. Get up Maria! So today is my rest day for a couple of days before my competition. So I'm going to spend the day going up shopping in Edinburgh. So I'm in the house and now, so this is my mum. Hi. <laughs> my mum's friend Jo. Hello. And my wee dog, Bodie. <laughs> and my sister's here as well, but she's just getting ready to go out. So yeah. So I'm at the shops now in Edinburgh. This is my sister. So we're just going to look for some school uniform because we're nearly back at school. So yeah, it should be all right and maybe see if there's anything, things I like. <laughs> so we've had a successful shopping trip for school stuff and I picked myself up a top. So um, now we're going to go and visit my grandma who's in hospital after having a knee replacement. So that should be good and that'll be nice to go and see how she's doing. Morning and today is my last day off before I go down to compete in Bedford. So today I'm gonna go for a walk with my dog and my mum. Um so I'll bring the camera along with me. Um it's just at the local beach near us so it's really nice views and stuff so yeah it should be good. So I'm out on my walk um so this is the beach, it's called Tinningham, so it's really close to where I live and it's a lovely beach, it's like one of the nicest in the area so it's, it's just like really quiet and peaceful and loads of people come here for like surfing, coming on dog walks so.
nice relaxing walk. So that's me back from bed. Found I've had a really good competition then now. So um, in my 100 metres, I'm really happy with the time. It was close to my PB. So that gives me a good indication that my training is going well. And also in my 200 metres, I got a new PB. But um, unfortunately, the timing system had broken. So it can't count as a European record. But I'm still really pleased with that. And um, I'd just like to say thank you to 1911 for giving me the opportunity to use lots of exciting equipment and getting to film a week. And just thanks to my coaches, um, family and friends for helping with my training too. And yeah, I'm just going to leave some clips of like going to the competition, the training and like maybe some of the runs itself. But yeah. I'll just leave them and thanks for watching.